Capricorn. This is your reading for May 2020. Keep in mind it is a general read, so if it doesn't resonate, please check your moon, rising, or Venus signs. So starting out, I feel this energy of a complete renewal and transformation, and I was hearing the words, the light returns. So for some of you, I feel like you may have been going through a difficult time or the last chapter and cycle has been very difficult. And I feel for some of you, you may have learned very, I want to say, harsh lessons around being in your power, not allowing you or sorry, not allowing others to treat you in a particular way and really standing your ground. I also see in these cards a lot of energy and a lot of confidence especially with this king of wands around creativity or around your own endeavors for your oracle cards we have wisdom and rebirth and i feel as though this rebirth is coming after a period of illumination there's something that has been revealed to you there's new truths but i feel as though these truths have been a long time coming or they've been i want to say hard won. there's been a lot of kind of opposition uh, even karmic situations, you may have felt like the last couple of years, couple of months have been and involved a lot of really harsh lessons, whether it came in the form of difficult relationships, partnerships, betrayals. I just feel this energy of you coming out of this rebirth and out of this energy and now being ready to share yourself and your light more fully in the world. And at the center of the spread, we do have the Empress. So again, I feel with the Empress and the King of Wands, there's this sense of creativity, abundance, wanting, wanting to manifest a brand new future for yourself. A lot of change. For some of you as well, I'm hearing out of the darkness and out of the hardships, you've received clarity of vision. Now it's like your heart is fully aware of what you desire, what you want to manifest, how you're going to proceed and move forward. I also think for many of you coming out as, as well of this isolation, if you have experienced this, there's a sense of wanting to wanting to move ahead, wanting to charge ahead, not allowing anything to hold you back. I feel it's almost this energy and potency, especially if you are or do resonate with being a healer or an artist of sorts that's wanting to either create a business, create a, a book a painting, whatever it may be for you personally. I just see all these blessings coming in, but they've come in because of the amount of spiritual growth you've attained and achieved. With the Hermit, I feel like there's been so much evolution and transformation within your own being that energetically you have been reborn. You have a new conception of what you want. Or for some of you, I'm looking at this Knight of Pentacles and I'm hearing you may have known what you wanted in regards to your life, in regards to your relationships as well, the quality you desired, but there was so much opposition or obstacles, you felt like you couldn't attain it. And with that Knight of Materials as well, there is this sense for some of you of wanting to charge ahead or wanting to release all opposition. I just see your soul pulling you forward and really wanting you to expand. Now, when it comes to relationships, I do feel with this two of cups, there's more harmony and peace and balance. And I feel for many of you as well, you may come into alignment with, I want to say kindred spirits or souls that energetically are compatible. Perhaps what has been happening in the past is you've attracted those who taught you some really pertinent and valuable lessons about yourself and what you want in the future. But now you're ready, I want to say, for a smoother journey. It's like that path has smoothed out. There's not as many obstacles, difficulty. You're letting that energy go. And as I say that, we do have the devil. For some of you, you may still be in the process of letting go of old connections, whether romantic or in terms of friendship. Because I feel I just have this energy around Capricorn that's like, I'm not going to allow anything to weigh me down, to hold me back from my dreams, my potential, my love. And that's what's front and center. For some of you, I'm looking at this woman with her arms crossed and feeling this sense of not allowing the past to re-enter. So if you are going through a separation or you've ended certain connections and friendships, I feel this energy of being really 
guarded's not the word, perhaps protective of your vibration and space because you're here as a star shining, wanting to take center stage, not in an egocentric way, but in a way of sharing your gifts. For some of you, I'm looking at this Knight of Pentacles in here and you have a lot of talents and gifts that you can share in the world and I feel like now's your time. Obviously, when things settle down in the physical, I feel like for some of you, perhaps over this period, you've been planning a new business, a new venture, a new creative project, and now you're really wanting to share it with others because in your environment, we do have the world. And that's what I'm seeing for you, a brand new life, a brand new world, and it's a world that you've manifested. That's not to say in the past you weren't manifesting, but I keep hearing for some of you there were certain lessons or a certain amount of growth that needed to be attained first before you could, I want to say, gain entry into this vibration, into this new, I want to say, dimension. And that's where your kind of wings can spread and you can take flight. It's a shedding of denser vibrations. For some of you, you may have been engaged as well in healing. And with this Eight of Cups, there is a sense of you walking away. For some of you, it may not resonate with this devil energy as being a person. You may be walking away from your past, rewriting the story, having a new beginning that's untainted from some of those emotions and energies you've gone through previously. But with the Four, I do feel for many of you, you're wanting to take a new journey. Not just, and I feel this is a, a new spiritual journey or this is like a journey of self. It's not so much, I mean, it could for some of you in the future involve travel or movement, but I really feel this is energetic. You're opening new doorways of potential within yourself. And that's what what is creating this, this sense of evolution, transformation. It's just a brand new cycle and world. And I feel like you're going to have so many blessings, so much abundance and joy beyond what you could experience in the last chapter or cycle. I'm just going to grab a deck to clarify. Yeah, on the bottom of this deck, we do have the Six of Swords. So again, there's movement, there's shifts, there's a transition between or from one world into the new. And for some of you, you may have had to really go through this healing process and a time where, that's why I was saying, for some of you, this Empress has been planning. She's been looking at these choices, these options, what she can do moving forward. And that's creating, I feel, a new path. Yeah, and you stepping into your power. And I see you being so incredibly confident. For some of you, there's a specific talent or skill that I feel either you know or you sense you were born to do in the world. With that Knight of Pentacles, you may be really talented writers, artists. Create. I do feel a lot of creative energy, teachers, healers. But I just get the sense you're ready to really, I want to say, step up to share that in the world. I think for many of you as well, if you resonate with being single or you've gone through a separation, you're really wanting beautiful, balanced partnerships that are somewhat harmonious because your energies are in sync. Okay. So for that Empress, we have the Five of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. And I just heard out of the sadness, new abundance grows. So for some of you, I feel like you've been healing. I do feel for some there has been endings of partnerships, endings of an old cycle, an old life. But again, I feel some of you are planning a new venture or a new business of sorts with this Ace of Pentacles. And I feel like it was very much directed from or inspired from your soul and your emotion, your heart. Okay, so this King of Wands is clarified and this is what's in opposition is clarified by the Nine of Swords and Ten of Swords. For some of you, what's held you back from stepping into this Queen of Wands and King of Wands energy was number one fear or karmic obstacles, I want to say, and also a, a lack of confidence because Spirit keeps saying to me, you're so incredibly confident or you will be moving into this new chapter. And I feel in the past, this could have been your mind constantly doubting your talents. Can you have success? Are you good enough? Do you deserve it? Because I feel like this Knight of Pentacles, it kept being put on hold. For some of you, you had a vision, a dream, a business that you really wanted to run towards, but you weren't sure that it could be successful or you doubted yourself to such a degree that it wasn't able to manifest earlier. 
I do think there's an energy of having to learn certain lessons or have certain experiences that would enrich what you're creating as well. Okay, we have here the Seven of Wands and the Princess of Dis. Yeah, and with the hermit as well, it's like you protecting your spiritual path, you not allowing anyone to come into your world that throws you, I want to say, out of alignment or detracts, not detracts, distracts your energy from what you're manifesting. For many of you, I feel like you have this new vision, this new life, this new world that you're venturing towards and you're not wanting anything to kind of interfere with that process. There's something new that you're building. There's a lot of sword energy, but I feel like it's a clearing of the mental body. Yeah, see, I feel I feel like this is the dream. This is the vision, something for some of you you've had in the past, but it, the timing wasn't right or you had too much going on. And now you're transitioning into this new life. You're wanting to start this new journey, this new venture and move in that direction. And with the two of wands as well, I feel like this is a new a new passionate path is what I want to say. And for some of you, it may involve movement. If you are resonating with ending a connection, ending a relationship or things not fully manifesting, it's like this tower comes in to set you free, but it puts you in your place of power. And for some of you, I feel like this could be with the Two of Cups, your divine counterpart. Uh, I feel this devil energy for some is the energy of a past. It doesn't have to be a past romantic connection, but past someone that was toxic and didn't serve you that may have been somewhat karmic. For some of you, I do feel it was a love relationship. And with this Wheel of Fortune, Spirit is saying there's a new counterpart that matches your vibration. That I'm hearing it's it's almost like a the energy of a power couple where both individuals are in their power. And with the Emperor, that's Aries energy, and we have strength here, Leo energy. It could be someone with fire quite prominent in their chart. And with that high priestess, I feel there's a really strong spiritual bond and spiritual connection. For some of you, this is what comes in in this new cycle. For others, you may have already met this person. Yeah, so we have the devil and the six of wands. I feel like I keep hearing there's something for some of you about karmic connections or karmic situations in your past that held your success back, whether it's because the relationship or connections diminish your confidence or whether there was something about the conditions in your past that weren't conducive to your dreams. For some of you, you may have left anything that held you back and was toxic. This could even be a toxic job or workplace for some of you. And it's almost like you've been set free. And now, especially with what's happening in the world, you see now's the perfect time to give birth to my creative projects, my business, everything I've wanted to do. And that's what this shift involves for you. Yeah, and I do feel it's been spiritually inspired and inspired by your own evolution. Because you've gone through this period of transformation, it's allowing for transformation in the physical. You have the star and strength. Again, I feel like you've developed a lot of strength and confidence from that last cycle or chapter, even though it didn't perhaps appear in the physical as though it was what you desired. It's that sense of blessings in disguise. I'm hearing that the journey, and I feel for some of you, I could be speaking of up to a decade, several years. It's a long, it's a reasonable chunk of time. That was almost preparation to strengthen your soul and your energy and vibration to be able to actualize this dream and vision. 
And with that Queen of Wands, we have you again, really surrendering to the universe. And I'm hearing surrendering to your divine purpose and trusting the divine to really guide you. And with the Three of Swords, I feel like heartbreak, loss. For many of you, a lot of this karma has been delivered, I want to say. And I mean, for me, karma is the path of learning that we select certain experiences that help us grow and help actually help us once we learn the lesson to evolve into our highest potential rather than kind of that tip for tap mentality. But I feel a lot of it for you has come through difficult relationships could be heartbreak, but at the same time, it's really strengthened your own soul. Hang on too many cards. Clarify the world. Yeah, so we have with this world, the eight of swords, but I feel like this was you before. It's almost like the conditions or what was present in your life wasn't enabling you to move into this new cycle or this new chapter. So it was almost put on hold. And now you're coming to a time where you can move forward. You can move ahead. Now, I'm also drawn to isolation. And I think this time of isolation has helped you with your healing process for some of you. Because if you look here, we have Prince of Swords, Determination. It's like it stoked your fire. It stoked your passion, your determination, your very fix for some of you on your vision, on your dreams. And as the Empress as well, you're feeling not only abundant, but you know your worth. I feel like any karmic situations has led you to step into this vibration and power. And with the Ten of Discs as well, there's so much abundance that's waiting for you. So we have the Eight of Cups clarified by the Magician. There were certain things I feel that you had to walk away from or had to be left behind so that you could manifest a brand new life. And for some of you, I really feel it's completely new, that it's not, it doesn't at all resemble where you've been or what you've done. And I feel the Seven of Pentacles as well. You've had a lot of time and I want to say reflection at a soul level in regards to where you want to invest and where you were investing that wasn't paying off. Perhaps you were giving too much energy into things that weren't relative to your spiritual path and your soul mission. And there has been this shift with the tower that has enabled you to go within and really transform so you can move ahead. Clarify the full. We have a lot of Aries energy on the table, but I also feel as though... You're showing up a bit in this reading as a fire sign. There's a lot of passion. For some of you, you may be connecting with a fire sign. Yeah. And to clarify the full, we have the Princess of Cups. And this is my card for perfectly aligning with your life's purpose. So for many of you, I do get this energy that... Now you're really wanting to connect with this frequency, follow your dreams. And the Empress is creating her life, his or her life, exactly as is desired. It's like you've been released from certain patterns that have, they've instructed you, they've helped you grow, but you can shed that now because now you're, you're fully aligned. I'm hearing with your vision, with your spiritual mission, and also your vibration and consciousness is compatible with what you were seeking. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day.